so what you have to understand with draw bars is that I, I hear this a lot from people. They go, oh, do you know, I never used those on my organ at home, or I never used those on my keyboard, because I didn't know what they did, or I didn't know what to do with them. Well, if you still don't know what draw bars are, go and look at my introduction video to organ draw bars, and they'll explain what they are, how they work, and the basics of how to mix them. Now, this video is to show you some different registrations and different mixes of draw bars. Now, I'm going to say something here I want you to understand and remember. There is no one way to mix these draw bars. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of thousands, millions even, hundreds of millions of different combinations. And some will sound absolutely wonderful, some will sound fantastic, uh, but one thing I guarantee you, they'll all sound good at very worst. Now, I'm playing in my studio tonight. It's a very wet, cold and windy evening here in the east of England. And I'm sitting at one of my uh, keyboard instruments. And uh, on my keyboard here, I've got digital draw bars that come up on the screen. And as you can see, I've got buttons underneath, which allows me to move them in and out. If you've got an organ at home, a Hammond, or maybe something like a Lowry, you can obviously um, use the draw bars on the screen. If you've got a physical draw bars, obviously those are the ones that you'll see on the panel. Now the first sound that I'm going to show you is, is a real classic draw bar registration. And it's what we call the bottom three. It's the 16, the 5 and a third, and the 8 foot draw bars. If you notice, I've got those all out. Okay, They're all out. And that is a registration that a lot of jazz organ players like to use. If you listen to, uh, you know, people like Jimmy Smith and uh, Joey D. Francesco, a lot of those uh, Hammond organ players, this is a sound they often use for soloing and, and playing, and it sounds a bit like this. Okay, let's hear a few bars of that with my backing. What have you noticed there that I've got the the rotary speaker, that's the, the Leslie effect, the spinning speaker effect, that is on slow. And if I hold a chord, you can hear there's a really slow pulse there. And that's what makes that sound very um, sharp, very effective, uh, very punchy. What, listen to it if I put the rotary speaker on fast. Nice sound, let's slow it down a little bit. Okay, now, what we've got there is a little, a little uh, clippy sort of effect, and that's given to us by the, the attack of the percussion stops. Now, these are known as second and third um, percussions, and on here I've got the four foot percussion stop out, okay? And what that does, it adds a nice little clip without, let's bring it out, here we go. Let's go back to my draw bar page. And so that's the first one to remember, 16, 5 and a third, and 8 foot. Those bottom three draw bars give you that classic sound that you hear in pieces like this. So a great sound there from the bottom three draw bars. Now our next preset looks like this. So you see that we've put the five and a third all the way in, and we've got max volume on the sixteen and the eights, and just a little less on the one and one third. Now, now something I just need to mention here is that traditional draw bars um, have a set of numbers on them, as you can see here. Each each um, draw bar has a set of numbers, and that's the volume. Okay, again, not sure about this. Go back and watch that introduction video that I've done on how organ draw bars work. Now, um, what I've got here on my keyboard, I've got eight levels. Um, traditional draw bars have nine, um, some are ten, it varies sometimes from different organ makes, but, but just a little under full on that one. And so we've got a nice sort of full sound at the bottom here, but then our harmonic drawbar 
don't forget this is a harmonic drawbar because it has a fraction in it, one and one third. Uh, it gives us a kind of a hollow sound at the top end. <laughs> Notice that the rotary Leslie is on fast. So a really nice sound there from the 16, the 8 and the 1 and 1 third. Notice if I put this draw bar in a bit, I'm going to make it quieter. And when it's out fuller, you're going to get that brighter top end. So you see that that, that really shows, doesn't it, how just a little adjustment on one drawbar can make a big difference. A little tip I'll give you, I'll give you here, is that that registration, 16, 8, and most of the 1 and 1 third, can also be completely changed by switching the rotary speaker to slow. We've now got a different registration. And then switch it to fast. And on a lot of organs, and on uh, traditional Hammond organs, you can even put the switch on the Leslie speaker to off. And that creates another version of that sound, but it's completely devoid of any vibrato. Any, any uh, sort of Leslie effect. Now here's my next preset that I did. Now this one look uses just the whole numbers, the 16, the 8, the 4 foot, most about, you know, about 80, 75, 80 percent of the 2 and the 1 foot. Now this is just going to create what we would call a full organ sound. But it's using just the fundamental draw bars, the 16, the 8, the 4, the 2 and the 1. So it's going to create a big full sound at this end, but as we work our way to the top, we're going to get that brightness. Again, let's, uh, let's try the slow. So great sounds there from the 16, the 8, and the 2 and the 1. Now, if we took off the higher ones and used just the 16, the 8, and the 4, let's just take the 4 in just a little and maybe the 1 like that. So we've got a little curve now, so it's more fuller and mellow than bright. <laughs> so that's a really nice sound, maybe nice for ballads and slow pieces of music. Here's another registration. This is a uh, what we call um, <laughs> we call this one in jazz organ playing. We call this the squabble sound, and um, it's basically the 16 and the one. You can add a little bit of top end there as well, but it's just the 16 and the one. So you've got the the big organ sound. Let's take the one all the way in here. And you then got this very very very. Um, thin sound at the top end, which is the one foot. Almost inaudible at the top. Let's bring the 16 back out, and uh, just the 16 and the one, that's what we've got there. And you get this sound. But it's nice if you play chords. And it's great if you do a little glissando, you get this kind of this um, blue sort of effect. And you often hear musicians sort of slapping the keys as they go up to a chord, a bit like this, uh, in this kind of uh, context. sounds there from the 16 and the one foot flute. 
Now, if we then bring out some more drawbars, so like this sort of registration, 16, a little bit of 5 and a third, 8 foot, 2 and 2 thirds, 1 and a third, 3 fifths, and a little bit of 1 at the top, we get a kind of a miss one each time kind of pattern. So you see there we've got the 16, miss the 5 and a third, the 8, miss the 4, and so on. And that's kind of miss every other one. And then we get a sound like this. So there's some nice sounds there coming from those particular drawbars. Now what you have to remember, as I said at the beginning, is that there is absolutely no way you can get a bad sound from these drawbars. Let's uh, mix a little pattern right here, and uh, let's make a little little shape, a little bit like a curve, all right, and um, it's almost like a like a rainbow kind of shape, and that's quite nice, isn't it? So what's that going to produce a sound of? Well, it's probably going to be quite mellow and bright, but then there's going to be this middle area here. Quite a nice sound, isn't it? Let's uh, take off the, the 16 foot and just start with the 8, the 4, and let's bring out some of the other drawers. This will give us quite a screechy sound. <laughs> Go for something like Tico Tico. Let's try the eight and the two and two thirds and a little bit of two. Let's take out the one. Sort of almost a clarinetty kind of sound. Let's make a a sort of a triangle shape going up to the top like this. Okay. Sort of quite a shimmering kind of sound. So as you can see, it's all about experimenting. And those uh, those particular drawbar settings, what I've done is I've put those in a little PDF document for you, which you can download completely free of charge just by simply following the link at the bottom of this video in the description. Now, I'm just going to play you a few bars just to finish off this video about drawbar registrations. Hope you've enjoyed it, and as you can see, different patterns, different effects from the Leslie, all produce brilliant sounds. So if you've never explored and experimented the drawbar, organ drawbar section on your home organ or home keyboard, it's really worth diving in and, um, and getting into it because these are fantastic sounds and it's what organ playing particularly is all about. This is what we, we had on organs back in the 50s and 60s. We had tabs, we had drawbars and that was it and all the sounds we made had to come from these and it was a real skill to produce different almost orchestral instruments from these drawbars before you know we have digital sampling today we take for granted that guitars and strings and pianos all sound so realistic that this section for many years was almost sort of forgotten and it was kind of like oh, organ sounds we don't do those anymore but they are so popular people love the sounds of the mighty theatre organs they love church organs but this particular section here, the draw bars, is absolutely brilliant. So do have a good play at this. Let's just play it one more song just to take us out. And uh, I'll say thank you very much for watching. My name's Tom Horton. Thanks for watching another video here on Keyboard Skills Pro. If you'd like to support um, me in making these videos, which do take obviously time and some money to create and edit, uh, if you'd like to become a patron of mine, please do visit the link in the description to my Patreon page. Uh, to uh, subscribe and you'll get some wonderful benefits from being a patron of my musical activities including some exclusive features not found on my YouTube channel. Thanks ever so much for watching. Until next time. <laughs>